Yo, what's up guys, it's Hal the Smile here. Welcome to another video. I'm going to be doing a Discord tutorial today on the best moderation box for your Discord server. So this will make it easy to warn, ban people, and um, it's just going to be good help controlling your Discord server in general. So I do hope you enjoy. I recently just made a new server, so I'll leave the link in the description. Please join that. Enjoy the video. Alright, so we're quickly going to create a tutorial server. So let's do that real quick. And let's get on with this. So first of all, you want to make the rules. Now, obviously, if you don't have staff rules, there's no point in having a moderation bot. So let's just um, quickly make some rules. What I'm going to make is owner, uh, moderator, trial moderator, helper and trial helper. And don't forget the admin role. Obviously there's no one else in this server so I don't need to. But I'm just going to make those rules real quick and I will be back. Alright, so we've made the rules. Now one thing to remember, any role that has the administrator permission will be able to do all of the bot commands no matter what no matter how you set it up on the dashboard so there is no need to bother with putting admin on uh, all the allowed roles sections so just keep that in mind so at the number three spot we have me six the multi-purpose bot so you would just want to type me six dot xyz that is the url and it should take you to the page where you can add the bot and go to the dashboard. So this bot hasn't only got moderation. It has music, uh, custom commands, everything you could want in a bot. So add to Discord. I'm going to go to a tutorial server when this loads. Set up me six. Then it should take you to an authorization page where you have to confirm. As you can see, it'll ask you for all of the permissions that it needs. You should give me six every permission. Just know, don't put the me six bot role above owner because um, that will. Some people can like glitch the bot out and give themselves owner, and that is very bad. Alright, so when you are on the dashboard, you want to click Moderator, Enable. Now, as you can see, the bot is actually in the server, Me6. Now, here we have it. So, Moderator roles. What you want is, you want to put all your staff roles here. So, all of these. And you don't need to worry about the owner role as that is um that has got you know admin permissions. You can do login as well. So uh, if I just refresh this page, because uh, I did just make a new uh, a new section. So let's just refresh this. Right, login. Let's click logs. And then it will um, ask you to authorize that as well as it is a webhook, as you can see here. This does get sort of annoying, but you do have to do it. So now we have this. So all these events that you check will be logged in logs. So muted, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is premium for message. And so just uh, if you want, just click all of these. It will um it will actually work so if I press save changes and I'll show you the login. So if I join this voice channel and then leave it shows that in logs as you can see. So I'm not gonna go over 
uh, auto moderator or um, any of this login anymore. I'm just going to be simply going over the commands. So dash ban, allowed roles you want moderator to be allowed to ban. Oh yeah, and make sure banned roles at everyone. So no one apart from moderators can use it. And just do whatever you feel is comfortable. I would advise trial helpers just have uh, manage message perms. Helpers, uh, pretty much the same to be honest. Uh, trial mods would be able to kick and mods would be able to ban. So this, trial mod, at everyone. And I'm just going to set all of this up until it is set up to my liking. So for commands like this, uh, exclamation mark mute, you don't want to just put it as trial helper, you want to put it as everything above it as well. Just so, uh, so all of them can do it. Example, kick. You want moderators to also be able to kick. So you can just set this up to however you want. And then it will actually fully work. So let's go and test the commands. So I am on my alt here and I can actually type. But then if I do exclamation mark mute at Dorito, that will remove the person's permission to talk. And obviously I'm not going to show you, but you can't I can't actually type on my alt account. To unmute, just do Exclamation mark unmute at user. There we go. And then you can just do everything. So warn Dorito. There you go. Obviously put a reason. And of course you can do exclamation mark ban at Dorito. And there you go. That is spot number three. The next spot we're going to be going over is YAGPDB. So what the URL that you want to type is yagpdb.xyz. And it will take you to the dashboard. So what you want to do is you want to go to uh, add to server up here. Then you'll have to authorize you now to do that. So now that we're, now that I've added it, as you can see, It'll bring you to this page where you go up here, select server. And then it'll bring up a list of server that you're admin plus in. Obviously we're going to go for tutorial server. And um, it'll bring us to the control panel. This is where you manage all of the commands and how everything works. Like I said, I'm not going to be going over auto mod, but we are going to be going over moderation. So click change settings here under the moderation panel. And as you can see, so you want to check that. This is all login. I'm not going to go over that, obviously. You want to enable que uh, clean command. And um, that will be for anyone who has managed messages permission. So enable mute if you don't have a mute role set up check that and also i'd check that as well and um, as you can see users with the following will have the command permission so you want to click all them remove the roles and uh, you can do any roles there or mute reason optional yes and there we go. Now we're going to move over to kick. Enable that. And um, for this you want to obviously do trial mod and above. These are optional. Uh, it's up to you if you want to do them. Ban. You want to do moderators. And then warnings. So basically you can uh, warn people with this as well. So you want to do a um, helper and above. And that is pretty much it. So it's really, really simple to set up. And I'll show you that it works now. So I'm back on my other account. 
and as you can see I can type so what we do is dash mute at Dorito and as you can see it will say no mute rule set up so you do want to make a mute rule as you can see there is one here so you just want to assign that in this make sure YAGPDB's role is above the muted role, just simply move it up and then just change it. Gotta refresh the page. There we go, click muted, save, and there you go, it should work now. Dash mute at Dorito. So obviously, you need to make the reason. And there you go, it will mute them. I can't type on my other account. So then let's get into um, warn, let's see if that works. Warn at Dorito, aha. Uh -huh. There you go, it warns me, it will send them a DM saying you've been warned for the reason. Then whatever the reason is. You can kick and ban, so let's just do dash ban at Dorito. And make sure to put a reason for all of them. And there you go. My other account is just gone. And at the number one spot, in my opinion, the best moderation bot on Discord is going to be Dino. So you want to type dino.gg. It will take you to the site. And everything should load up. So when you're on here, you want to go to add to server. And it'll ask you to authorize again. And here we are. We have added the bot. Make sure it has admin and stuff. And um, make sure the bot's role is above muted. I'm pretty sure it'll make a muted role by itself, but can't be so sure. So you want to scroll down here to modules and you'll see moderation so you want to go to commands and look at how many commands there is here guys this is like to the extreme improvement of moderation so clean that is a um, that will actually uh, clean bot messages obviously mute ban uh, warnings whatever so we're gonna do the main ones you're just gonna click settings on a command, allowed roles. Uh, actually, let's try on modern above. And disabled roles, uh, you can't really do that. So, unless you make a member role for every person in the server, um, you're just gonna have to leave it. So it's. It, you pretty much don't need this disabled roles bit. Anyone with kick permissions will be able to kick. And it's basically for that. So what we're going to do first is unban my ult. You can actually unban people with their ID. So customer unban. And I paste the ID. And there we go. And just a quick note. Uh, my ult got banned. And also remember it muted at the top here before it got banned. Now I still cannot type because um, it's like a sticky roll. It will stay on the person forever until they are unmuted. So let's test the commands. Question mark warn at Dorito. Let's see if that works. Yep, it does. Question mark mute. At Dorito, and I cannot type, so that works. And of course, question mark ban at Dorito, and it works. So, there you have it.